what is going on comic fam it is your boy the bearded comic bro and i am joined by comic creator brett murphy welcome to the show hey thanks for having me glad to be here absolutely so we are going to talk about your new book coming out from behemoth comics here paranormal hitmen that it just i'm excited to talk about that today so um but before we do i gotta ask i always like to know when i bring a creator on how did you how did you get into creating comics yeah so um you know i've always been a fan of uh, comic books ever since i was a little kid um you know i was born in the late 80s so i was a child of the 90s when you know x-men and um you know batman we, we had the animated series so i oh. got into those the toys um you know jim lee and uh and um Con McFarlane, you know, writing Spawn, Spider-Man, X-Men, Wildcats. I mean, all that just, you know, really drew me in. And, you know, uh, I've, I've always been a fan since since I was a kid. And, um, you know, I I enjoyed writing throughout my uh, throughout my uh, college days. And, um, yeah, it, it led me here to uh, to uh, write for Behemoth. So you talked about Behemoth and I've had um, I've had. Uh, Nathan on and Ryan on the show. Um, previously, I've had some other Behemoth creators. How did you get connected with Behemoth? How did that relationship come together? Yeah, so um, when I had the uh, pitch out for Paranormal Hitman, we um, we had uh, we had it out with a couple other uh, studios, and um, we had a couple of studios interested in it. And then at the last minute, I kind of noticed it's kind of funny i noticed uh, behemoth on facebook uh through their book blackout and i went through their page and noticed all these like cool uh comics that they were coming out with in the future and i had reached out to them and you know as they were accepting submissions uh nathan yokum who's one of the co-founders you know he uh he reached back out to me and said you know send them on over and uh and he kind of told me what they were working on and and it, it drew me in and uh and they picked up the book and you know it's it's been a great ride ever since yeah it's funny you said blackout because i have that right behind me and i thoroughly oh, nice. enjoyed it so um, <laughs> yeah I, I have it in my room too i <laughs> yeah it's a great book yeah and it's so it was kind of like you had this idea and then you you kind of you stumbled upon behemoth and kind of what they were doing and you know what they're about and the types of books that you're like okay this is this is what uh you know i want i like that cool yeah 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 it's a i mean I, i'll tell you this right now they're they're an awesome company and like some of the things that they're with licenses that they're working on for the future is it's gonna blow everybody away yeah i'm i'm grateful like that i kind of got to uh expose the behemoth i i mm -hmm. first found out about osiris path and I was talking oh, yeah. to Christian yeah. about that. And then I started talking to Nathan Ryan about their company. And I'm like, and so anything that they're putting out, I'm like, I've got to, I've got to read. So when you connected with me, said, Hey, I want to talk about my book, Paranormal Hitman. I'm like, please. Yes. I would love to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so for someone who hasn't read, cause it's not out yet. So no one's read it. Yeah. So tell the, tell people who are watching this, what is this book about? Where's this idea come from? Yeah, so basically the thing that I was trying to go for was, you know, Goodfellas, Sopranos meets Ghostbusters slash Men in Black and kind of marry those ideas together and throw them into a series where we add some humor, but we add some action and some drama. And um, just those ideas are what I'm trying to throw into the series and um I mean it wouldn't be possible without the artist Wilson Gandolfo who just did a great job you know creating these characters um you know from from the uh, uh script I mean he, he just did a great job but um but yeah I mean uh the book is um like I said it's people have kind of compared it to you know Goodfellas meets uh Ghostbusters on a couple of the advanced reviews that we've gotten so far and um you know just hearing hearing that from the reviews you know it, it makes me happy because that's that's ultimately what I was going for nice yeah it's it really is it's a I like that blend that you had about it so where 
where did this like you said it obviously like the merging of it like where did this idea though for you come about like because it's such a unique idea I think yeah so um I've always been a fan of uh uh Ghostbusters and um you know mafia movies ma uh, mafia tv shows like Sopranos and Goodfellas and um and one day I was just watching uh, uh, Goodfellas and I was like, ah, you know, it would be a cool idea if, you know, we had hitmen and we had some humor to them. And then I said, oh, what if they were going out and fighting ghosts? And, you know, I, I kind of came up with a little synopsis and then I started writing the script and I was like, oh, man, this, this actually sounds kind of cool. And then from there, I, I was like, oh, I, need, I need to find the perfect artist. And, and you know, thankfully, I found Wilson. And, um, and, and it worked out just great. Yeah. And you mentioned, you've mentioned Wilson a couple of times, the art that yeah. he does, I think it's a beautiful pairing. Um, cause, uh, getting to check out the first issue, the beautiful pairing of your writing style of, like you said, there's that, it's that kind of that good fellows, Sopranos kind of, you know, the mafioso hitmen, but there also is that humor blend. And I think the art style that Wilson brings to it is a nice marriage between the two. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, it 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 wouldn't work without his art style. I mean, it, it's just the perfect art style for for you know the type of uh, story and series we're going for. Yeah, because I think like it has that kind of vibe where it's 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 realistic, but it has a cartoonish vibe. Like it just mm -hmm. it blends it perfectly. And I think if you go you go too much one route or the other, you're like it doesn't work. So I think it really was a cool. So how did you get connected then? Since talking about Wilson, how did you get connected with him? On I know he did the art, the lettering, the color. Like he did. Yeah, he did. He did it all. <laughs> he crushed it. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> was that something that like you? How did you come about building that relationship with your collaborative team? Yeah. So um, uh, Wilson and I uh, we met through a mutual friend uh, Matthew Kahn, who's also a tremendous. A comic writer he wrote the reset and um i believe wilson worked on him with with the reset okay and um uh through matt i kind of saw wilson's uh instagram page and i saw his art I was, oh man this this art will, will match up real well with with the type of story that we're going for and you know i reached out to wilson and uh he took a look at the script and he liked it and he jumped on board and uh one good thing about wilson working with him is uh you know we have a good uh working relationship where you know he can tell me like oh hey i think we should add this to this panel or change something here and you know he brings that great idea to the uh to the table and and, it, and, it, and it's a great working relationship yeah that's that's really cool like because i think to have that relationship where you can say you can have that give take i think that works out really well um and that's a that's a great mindset so where do you where do you see this uh do you have like a vision for how long this series is going is it kind of a do you have do you have an idea where you're end, taking it where you want to end what what's in store for people i know we're just talking about paranormal hitman and getting into it but where's where's your vision for it yeah, so um, right now it's uh, said to be a four-part uh, miniseries, okay. but I do have um, a second arc um, planned out and a synopsis for, uh, you know, four more issues. So, I mean, um, you know, it's, if Behemoth will have it, I mean, we'll, I mean, we, we can continue uh, going on to a to a second arc. I mean, it. Uh, I guess it depends, you know, uh, how well it does in the stores, and um, you know, if people want us to keep moving forward with the uh, with the series. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, because you never like sometimes you. Get, I've had creators on where like I have a four story, and this is this is what I, the story I want to tell. I. I could go more, but this is really what I want to tell where others like, well, we'll see, we'll see where it goes and expands. Um, because I feel like you are creating a world here. I mean, we're talking yeah. about hitmen who are going after goats. Like, yeah, <laughs> you can take this any route that you want to go. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that's the one good thing. Like you said, I mean, it's, it's ghosts. So you could have, like, we have a lot of historical, um, figures and soldiers and you know it i mean you could just go on for you know 
an infinite amount of uh, issues because you have so many ghosts that you get to play with and, and add to the story. Right. And, and not only that, it's set in the 70s. So, you know, uh, like one idea that we're talking about is maybe having them go a couple of years from now and have like a book where it's set in the 80s, kind of like a Stranger Things type of concept mm-hmm. where each season's, you know, a different time period. And you see the characters in the atmosphere grow and the clothes and yeah. gadgets and all that stuff. Yeah, it's so, it is such a cool just idea. And I was, I thoroughly was enjoying it when I was reading it going like, it is such a unique concept. Like, I mean, you have, you have the Mafiosa movies, you have your Ghostbuster movies, but it's like com- the merging of the two is just so cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> with that being said, um, this is this your first foray into comics what you wrote here uh so i've had a couple things uh uh i recently did a um a horror anthology where i had a couple stories in there um where i did that last year and it was funded on a kickstarter okay and um it was you know it was a cool project because um we got to work with a couple of uh, professional athletes from philadelphia where which is where i'm from Oh, nice. So, uh, so you know, working with them and uh, you know, kind of writing the stories around them was was pretty cool and a, a unique experience. But um, this will be my first uh, uh, series that's uh, you know published and distributed through Diamond. So, so yeah. it'll be the first one that's distributed to uh, to stores worldwide. Yeah. So that's gonna be something that's cool when you get that back. Oh, yeah. Those those comps back, like. <laughs> yeah oh yeah it's great it's like um like the past couple of days it's uh it's funny because a lot of shops from the uk and ireland are actually picking up the book which is so cool you know like say it's like hearing from shops like, over overseas and you know it, it's just a just a cool feeling yeah oh it's gotta be it's gotta be oh, so, yeah. so what's kind of like what's the process then for you as um as a writer and as a creator like do you do you have your kind of scripts that you write out and then like send it off to um wilson and kind of have that the dialogue or what's the kind of the process with creating these books um yeah so uh um for example like um issue two like what i'll do is i'll write the script as he's uh as he's, um, you know, drawing a previous issue. Like right now, Wilson's almost done uh, issue two. So I'm working on issue three script. Um, but as soon as I get the script, um, basically what I'll do is I'll send it to Wilson. Wilson will kind of, you know, pencil mark like, hey, uh, okay, like, cool, cool, cool. Um, uh, maybe what if we add this here, like change the background or change the type of pose that we want them to have in this scene. And um, from there, Wilson will go on and, you know, start sketching and inking and doing his thing. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of like a team process between Wilson and myself, um, you know, uh, you know, making sure that the issues are perfect and, you know, um, also making sure that it's, uh, you know, something that he's going to like really love to draw and, you know, think that will really be, you know, eye popping to the reader. That's and that's cool like because i like to just kind of like to sometimes figure out how the you know how the sausage is made what's the behind the scenes process yeah. um and because it's different for everyone and i think too of like you know being you know ma- your first book on your own that like you said being distributed through diamond and stuff like that uh the process is probably different from them when you're doing the anthology with other people with on the kickstarter and stuff like that so um so this paranormal hitman We've already talked about how you have, you're dealing with ghosts. So like the realm of possibilities um, are endless with what you could do. Like how, without giving stuff away, because I mean, people want to, yeah. like how buck wild do you think you're going to be taking it with these ghosts? Like who, like who's going to be popping up and like how, how adventurous do you think you're going to be taking it with these characters? <laughs> Yeah, so um, right now, if uh, like people are following me on uh, Instagram or Facebook, uh, we re- we kind of revealed the uh, second issue's uh, cover. So it kind of reveals like the second issue, there's going to be this huge, you know, major epic 
you know, movie like uh, fight scene where we have dinosaurs like a T Rex and past presidents, uh, samurais. It's it's that's one cool thing is you know you have an endless possibility of ghost you can use and and we have a historical museums that uh, takes place in Philadelphia where we have artifacts um you know of these past uh of these uh, past soldiers and presidents and it's just gonna come into like some crazy fight scene slash humor mixed in and it well, Wilson showed me some of the sketches that he's done so far for it and and I'll, I'll tell you what the second issue is like it's so killer like the way he's the way he's drawn it it's 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 awesome yeah it's like well because it is like the possibilities are endless and like yeah, you, yeah. gang if you're watching this interview right now and you have aren't sold on mafioso <laughs> people mafioso hitmen who are attacking hitmen against ghosts and then just the dinosaurs the sand like the <laughs> u.s president's like well, what's wrong with you? Like, that sounds like yeah. everything you could hope for and want in a comic. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, you know, it's Hitman fighting ghosts, mafia after the Hitman. It's just everybody. It's just like crazy, you know, mix of everything that, that you know, it's, yeah. Yeah. Like I said, Wilson's showing me these pages. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait till this, you know, this gets done and colored and printed. It's, it, it looks amazing. That's awesome. And then, well, so I know you're probably focused mostly right now on doing Paranormal Hitman. Is that like, mm. is there other stuff that you got kind of in the works or other things that you're visioning that you want to add to your plate down the road? Yeah, so um, right now, uh, you know, I'm working on the rest of the issues for Paranormal Hitman. Um, I am working on something else with Behemoth um, that uh, I guess would be announced down the line that I can't really get into yeah no that's fine um, and then uh there's you know there's a couple other scripts and projects that i have written now um that you know i'll be um you know pitching down the line um but uh but yeah i mean right now it's uh you know finishing up paranormal hitman and you know making sure it's you know just you know the series is right you know on point and and make, making sure that it's you know enjoyable for the readers absolutely so when uh when does paranormal hitman come out when's it hit stores yeah so um right now it's in uh the previews or uh diamond um where, where you can go to your lcs and order it if they haven't ordered it already and um it's set to release february 10th uh 2021 nice yeah so you've got plenty of time not i mean not too much but you got some time yeah, a couple, yeah a couple weeks. uh to you know uh, we'll have we'll have the links and stuff in the description of this video below uh so hop on to if you got the access to go to preview hop on your preview pull us and and download that and have that added to your pool because i'm telling you what checking out issue one you're not going to want to miss out on this series and i mean if it's example of anything behemoth is doing and like it's those issue one are hard pressed because people are asleep have been sleeping sometimes so don't be sleeping go to the store and get your orders in yeah and uh another thing i got to mention is uh for issue one we have a uh variant cover uh wilson did a homage to amazing spider-man 129 uh the punisher uh first appearance of punisher yeah so so you'll have your a cover and a b cover and that's yes nice yeah yeah and that's just for uh issue one yeah gang what do you everyone loves a good <laughs> homage cover like i love oh, yeah. it so man that's fantastic well bro, i don't want to take up too much more of your time but where can where can people follow you where can they keep posted with what you got going on um so they make sure they're not missing out on what you are doing yeah so um you can follow me on instagram at b murphy right and um i actually it's funny i just joined uh twitter today uh so i was told i had to get on twitter so yes. I, I finally made a profile so that I, that's happy murphy right as well so uh so you can follow me on instagram and twitter nice yeah well gang 
watch as you're watching this video, you're probably watching it through one of my Twitter links or Instagram links. Make sure you guys go follow Brett so you guys can get everything, um, know what's coming up. Go to your LCS, order these, order this series. Like you're going to want to get it into your hands ASAP. I'm telling you what. Um, well, Brett, thank you so much. Uh, any last things that you just want to share before we wrap it up or any parting words? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, everybody stay safe. And uh, and like I said, uh, you know, uh, check out Behemoth. They have a lot of great books coming out. And like you said, don't sleep on them. I mean, they, uh, you know, they're bringing some fire for, um, coming out. You know, it's it, it's been a uh, great run so far. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, again, I'm ex so excited for Paranormal Hitmen. I think uh, I think people are just going to have a lot of fun with this. Um, like I said, if you've been watching this interview, you know it sounds buck wild, like in a blast. So something you want to get in on. So, Brett, thank you again so much for hanging out, taking some time to just kick back and talk comics with me. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So, gang, with that being said, hopefully you can find some time this week. Curl up, grab a book and nerd out. Peace.